I love children's books. Well, what I really want to say is I love picture books because pictures are so exciting and you just get so much story out of a picture. And that's why books of illustrations such as this, especially books by Ed Sorrell, where the illustration is so wonderful to look at, as well as the message and the story of what's in it. And as I just almost randomly open up pages, you could see the caricatures, the message, the ideas. And we're lucky that the, the opportunity still exists for many of us using Amazon to find books with his pictures. And look at these, how they're even in the old books, the topics are so current for today. There's something classic about the ideas, something timely, and they're artistic. They're interesting to look at. Ed has also written children's books, and they're children's books that are fun for adults to look at and to read with children. I asked him one day at his studio why it was that he made children's books. I did not do children's books for children. I did children's books for myself. In a children's book, you can do something personal and something uh, out, of, out of the ordinary. The, the last children's book I did, which was The Saturday Kid, was my most personal children's book. And it was about a boy in the 1930s who was wrapped up by the movies he saw in the Saturday matinee. That was your childhood? You'd get a, enough money to go to the movie theater on Saturday? Yes, the Saturday matinees were 10 cents. And I remember walking to the theater with 10 cents in my pocket and discovering inflation had set in and the movie was now 11 cents. Mm. And I remember having to walk back to the house to get the other penny. <laughs> <laughs> the studio system was in effect when I was a boy. So you saw the same supporting actors week after week. They became uh, your interesting family. 